Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing an Epic Weapons review video, which this time it's the Banshee Siren we're reviewing. So basically I got this during my supply drop opening, which I did last week, and it did decently well, so I would assume that if you find this video you probably watched that one. But if you haven't, I'll try to link it on screen or something. Uh, right about now in the form of a tab or something. So basically you're just going to go over the perks of the weapon, then the aesthetics and then basically my experience of the weapon, so like my opinion and then the conclusion basically. So we'll go over the perks first. So the first perk is called Shockwave and it's the epic perk. This perk gives increased damage while sliding and the damage causes slight hearing loss. Basically what this means is that whilst you're sliding the gun will do more damage. But from my testing or from me using it in the game essentially, it appears to do more damage at a range. So uh, what they mean by more damage here is that what I assume is it does, like the range is the same. So the maximum damage range of the gun is identical. But the damage it does over those ranges, like the multipliers that it has, is greater. So for example, your one shot kill range won't be like, this. let's say like 10 meters, no, it'll be like 15 or something, I don't know. I don't, those aren't like stats either, I made those up. But, you know, that's the general idea of it, and I find it's very useful. I've definitely noticed it, so yeah, I have that. Um, the second part of the perk is that damage causes slight hearing loss. I've been on the receiving end of the siren a few times, and it can be annoying, this hearing loss, but it doesn't really affect you, because if you're in the middle of a gunfight, you're not going to use your hearing that much. So, yeah, I don't know, it doesn't, it, it doesn't really help you get kills either, so... I don't know. The, this did get updated though to include the increased damage range while sliding. The increased damage while sliding. Because originally it was just hearing loss, but you know they updated it, so I think that's pretty good. Made the gun usable. The second perk is the common perk called Sharpshooter, and this is increased damage range and stacks with the big ramp. So yeah, that basically helps the gun in that regard. But we'll move on to the aesthetics now, and then we'll do my opinion and conclusion. So the aesthetics of the gun, there's the gun that's entirely different in, in terms of design. Uh, the, the core look of the gun looks identical, but it's got a good few changes on it, which if, you, if you're not into aesthetics you can just skip this, but basically uh, the, the most noticeable things will go over because the entire gun is like changed in design. But the front of the gun, where the pellets come out of, are, is changed, so instead of having like two sort of piece of the metal and then a bar going across it. It's now just a big speaker type thing. Uh, like a dome type shaped thing, which you'll see on screen. Um, in addition to this, the pump action part of the gun, the part of the gun that you pump back, well, has also changed in design, so it just looks a bit different. Then the middle of the gun, where the pump, or the front of the gun slides along to pump it up, uh, also it is different, so instead of it being just solid metal, it's now like bars kind of now, so it's kind of like uh, scaffolding, or not scaffolding, you know what I mean, it's in bars instead of being two big bars, it's two bars made up of smaller bars, y you can see what I mean from the picture. But then we also have the grip of the gun, which looks a bit different, not too much, but I mean it's more sharp I suppose, and uh, more blocky, and then the final part is... The stock of the gun is now not one big rectangular square thing, it's now it actually looks like a stock essentially. So, those are all aesthetic, though they don't affect the gameplay in any way, shape, or form. Just makes the gun look a bit cooler. So, you've got that. But we'll move on to my opinion or conclusion now. So, basically, this gun is a direct upgrade from the base Banshee. It does more damage um, at any range with the sharpshooter perk. It also does more damage while sliding with the shockwave perk and both of these are definitely noticeable. The gun is a lot more consistent now and obviously you've got damage or it causes hearing loss which isn't that good but you know it's an, it's an extra bonus. Um, so yeah the increased damage range and the increased damage while sliding helps the gun a lot and it definitely makes the gun a lot more consistent and that's one thing that's really bad with the base punchy is the gun is really inconsistent. If you can get it to work, it's a really good gun. But the thing is, is that it just the damage range on it sucks. It's just terrible, and you just it's really inconsistent. You'll get times where you get a one shot kill, 
and then you'll go to the Danticle range and you won't get a one-shot kill anymore. But with, with the Siren, this is basically doesn't happen as much. It's much more consistent, and you'll see in the gameplay that I do pretty well. So, yeah, hearing loss doesn't help that much, like I said. Um, it's a very solid gun, and I would definitely recommend this with the Doppler because I feel as though the Doppler, which is the other epic variant of the, si of the Siren, sorry, it's the other epic variant of the Punchy. The Doppler is, it's a three round burst shotgun essentially, but I feel like it's overkill because it fires three normal shots from what I understand of the Banshee and it just seems like overkill because you're firing three bullets and an actual factor of probably take a maximum two to kill someone. So it makes the gun more consistent, sure, but it seems like it's just overkill, whereas the Siren makes the gun a lot more consistent and it's not wasting ammo. But that's just my opinion on it. I would recommend this variant over the top loop, but you can make your mind up yourself. Um, and then the gun looks very cool overall, like I said. The design of the gun's different, like I said, and the aesthetics are different. I think it looks a lot better, personally, and that's the same with a lot of epic variants, but that's it, really. Um, if you like shotguns, and you kind of want to use the punch here, you want a solid easy, or sort of easy to use, powerful shotgun, which is quite consistent, you should probably get the siren, and it is probably worth the 4,000 salvage. I say probably because I didn't spend 4,000 salvage on it, I got from a supply drop, like I said, but I would say if you like shotguns, or you're doing shotgun challenges for example, and you're struggling with a banshee, or you, just, you want to use a banshee but it's a bad gun, then I would get this gun. It really makes the Banshee into a decent pump action shotgun. So I say it's worth a 4,000 salvage. But I don't think it's worth 6,000 or whatever it is. Like if you don't have any variants of like 6,750, I don't think it's worth that. It's 4,000. But yeah, I think you can hold off for a while if there's any other gun you want. But that's that basically. Also in the gameplay, you'll see I'm using the shotgun in Genesis, and that's. Uh, just because it's a small map the game essentially and shotguns really shine in that map so if you're going to use a shotgun use it on smaller maps in the game obviously not like large ones you can definitely you can use them successfully but i recommend using it in smaller maps and a fun wee fact to suppose about this game is that i actually got a hate message halfway through it which i can't remember exactly what the guy said but it was something like you're great at the game i'll try to put it on screen if i can but basically the guy was like level 2 or something and I was I was recording this in the morning for a game for the gameplay for this video and I was going to mess saying you're terrible <laughs> so yeah be aware for or be aware hate messages if you use this gun basically but it, the guy was level 1 so I don't know what to think about that but anyway that about does it if you enjoyed the video please consider leaving a like maybe even subscribing and I'll have some end cards once the archery plays and yeah I'll see you in the next one. Bye.